guys, it's Duran, one half of Lift or Die Fitness. Today, I am bringing you a different video. I'm going to talk about the benchless bench press. Yes, the benchless bench press. The same movement when we're going down, bringing that bar back up, but we're not on the bench, we're actually on the ground. I'm going to show you how you can still make the same gains, whether you have a bench that you can lay on and get under the bar, or you don't. Um, this is an exercise that you can knock out at home. This is an exercise that you can knock out in the gym as well, just a different variation of the bench press, which is still a really good one. You can still make the same gains, make the same gains, and even take your bench press to the next level if that's what you're looking for. All right, I think that's enough talking about it. Let's go ahead and check what this looks like. You might have been wondering how in the world are you going to get under the bar to lift the bar up. Well, let me go ahead and show you. You're going to sit your behind on down. Keep your legs out straight. You can move up a little closer. And we're just going to roll the bar on up. We're going to roll the bar on up. So, this requires an extra exercise to get the bar on up. It's going to be a hip thruster. Hopefully you know what a hip thruster is. Hopefully you're knocking those out in the gym. We don't, but maybe you do. You can lay on down. So, whenever we're benching, we want our arms to go 90 degrees. 90 degrees with this elbow bend here. It's gonna be the same thing here. We're gonna keep our arms 90 degrees and we're gonna let them down on this bar here. Like I said, we're gonna do a hip thruster to get the bar up. So. Bam, that hip thruster, and now we're up at a 90 degree angle. And we're just gonna lift, let it down slowly. You don't wanna let, <laughs> dude, lift. All right, I'm gonna let this all down. Lift your, get back into that thruster position, let it all down. When you're completing this exercise, trying to knock this out, and we're letting the bar on down, you want to control the weight. That is very, very important. Controlling the weight going up and controlling the weight coming back down. If you're coming back too, coming back down too fast, you're just gonna crash into your elbows. Your wrists aren't gonna like it. Your forearm isn't gonna like it. Your elbow is gonna hate you and you're gonna feel it, you're really gonna feel it. So you wanna control the weight going down and you wanna control the weight going back up and you wanna make sure you squeeze your pecs because obviously this is a bench press and that's what we're trying to work out along with our So triceps. like I said, we wanna control the weight going up and control the weight coming down. We don't wanna come down too fast. Now, one thing that's very important is that this is a zero momentum lift. So it's all about power and exploding up all about the power. We can't bounce, obviously. We don't want to bounce because that's not good. So, we start zero momentum, all the way up, power, and we want to control it down. What's really good about this as well, what's, re what's also really good about this is sometimes when we're on the bench and we're completing the bench press, we're going down below parallel and we could run into some shoulder injuries. And that's obviously, that's not good. The good thing about this is we're going to parallel. We're not going below parallel, so we don't run into those same shoulder injuries. That's why we gotta control the weight when we're going down to stay safe, control it going up. If you are in the gym and you're trying to knock out the floor press, you will do these in the same place that you curl in the squat rack. The good thing about being in the gym is you can actually rack the weight. And you have racks for the weight, you have a place for it. You can get your behind down on the ground and then you can lift that up. In the gym, most likely you're gonna have a spotter or you can ask for someone to spot you if you wanna have the weight way up because we're making gains, right? Because we're making gains. If you like seeing the video about the floor press, please like, comment, subscribe, and also share it. If you have any other ideas or anything, any other exercises you want to see us show you, or you want to even just see us try it and knock it out, see what we can do on it, 
go ahead and let us know as well. Uh, definitely appreciate you watching, appreciate your support. Thank you very much. This is Jerron, and I am out.